Hello everyone, this is Jamyang. So today I'm going to show you one of the most interesting places in Lhasa, which is a Muslim quarter as well as the biggest quadriceps business center. The quadriceps that was grown up all over in Tibet were brought here and they deal the millions and millions of businesses. So let me show you how they are dealing the quadriceps business. Let's go. So first of all, I would like to say what is cordyceps. So cordyceps is the combination of a worm, mushrooms, and the plants. So in, in on Tibet Qinghai High Plateau, in one year we are finding approximately about 100 tons of that uh, cordyceps and mostly it comes from Nakchu, Qinghai and then around 30% of that cordyceps comes over here and then they, they, do, they, do the, they deal the exchanging of cordyceps and, and then after that they use it for the medicines and mostly it goes to mainland China because Chinese people love to have cordyceps because it's good for liver and for your lungs. So here you can see lots and lots of beautiful Muslim ladies that they are cleaning cordyceps because it is a really really fresh cordyceps. It's just like looks like it was just yesterday that they have picked the cordyceps from the mountains and now they are cleaning. So inside the plastics you can see the clean one. So the fresh cordyceps, one piece of the fresh cordyceps costs like 38 yuan. So it is a really really fresh good cordyceps that you can see here. You still can see lots and lots of earth under the cordyceps. So that's how they clean cordyceps from mud. I have to do it really easy because it isn't really easy to break. Because if I break that, it costs like 100 yuan for me to buy it. And now I have to do it a little bit faster. Actually, I have to just clean all the mud away so that it comes a uh, worm so i i can understand why it is called combinations of plant worm and mushrooms because you can see the mushrooms here and you can see the physicals of the worms here so it, it looks absolutely like a worm you see but you have to be really skillful to clean that things because it's really soft and really fresh and still juicy as well so it is really easy to be broken and now I'm going to try that uh, cordyceps. What kind of taste does it have? Mm, it tastes meat. It tastes meat, yeah. And I hope now I get a super good liver and lungs. <laughs> so the rest of this cordyceps, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a tea, the tea of cordyceps. So I have to put this into my cup and get some water and then after one hour I can drink this cordyceps tea and it, make, it was mixed with uh, uh, something uh, also herbal grass that was really good for your blood as well so after an hour it was okay to drink. Here you can see lots and lots of individual sellers with a plastic bag in their hands. And in those plastic bags are full of cordyceps. And that has been collected from mountain sites in Tibet. And now they are looking for the buyers. So here we have found a businessman 
So he lives under those cordyceps over here. And all those cordyceps were grown in northern part of Tibet that is called Nakchu. And he was also from Nakchu. So his name is called Ganze and he lives specially under selling those cordyceps over here. And all those cordyceps over here, he was saying that the best, one of the best cordyceps that you can find here, because the size of those cordyceps looks pretty big, you say? Oh. So one piece of cordyceps, it costs like 50 yuan. And all those cordyceps that he had recently picked up from his hometown, and it costs like 4,500 yuan but only that much of cordyceps. Now the seller have brought his cordyceps to the buyers and the buyers are checking the qualities of the cordyceps. And after checking the qualities, they are going to negotiate the price, but not from saying it from mouth, but by touching fingers under those towels. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Here, I found another interesting dealing right under this shop. Here you can see two buyers and two seller, and the buy uh, the seller is describing how good is uh, his cordyceps, and now they are negotiating the price right under this towel by touching the fingers. And looks like uh, Sellers is not so happy with the price and he was taking his cordyceps back. Wait, now the seller wants the cordyceps because this cordyceps is one of the good qualities. And now he was checking the quality again. Yep, they are still bargaining the price. They negotiate the price again, once again, I hope it works now. And it looks good. Because the seller is smiling and checking the cordyceps. The negotiating is over and both buyers and sellers looks happy. And the uh, buyer is keep checking if there is sands or low qualities of cordyceps in the end. So how do you feel after visiting the interesting cordyceps market? The cordyceps that cause like in treasure and the Tibetan peoples and the Muslim people they are living under to selling those cordyceps. So if you are interested, please welcome to Tibet and explore this place with me together.